going back to Turkey. No, I'm just kidding. I have to move upstairs. So that's the situation right now. Let's get ready. Why did I bring a swimsuit? show you the room that I got right now but cleaning ladies kicked me off <laughs> because they were cleaning my room at the time and they said that it'll take at least 30 minutes so I was like okay and I'm out I have nothing so I think I'm gonna eat something <laughs> went to the market, bought some groceries and you know, by groceries I meant beer wink wink <laughs> no, that was that was tasteless anyways I've been sleeping for a while and I woke up like an hour ago. It's 9 p.m. So there's one thing you might not know about me. I like writing, even though I'm not so good at it. <laughs> um, so there is this thing I wrote. I was reading it and I just wanted to share a small part of it with you and here goes the thing it might be the fear that you feel every time when someone decides to enter your life and be a part of it a big unforgettable part you feel the waterfall of thoughts coming through your mind and making you anxious about losing that person however you will let them hurt you no matter who they are because you are a miserable romantic looking for a lover, perhaps a friend to build core memories with. Crying for help, one might say, maybe just a child looking for someone to play. But when you realize none of these can truly define what you perceive, you start to think that something's wrong with you. Something was wrong with me indeed. I lacked confidence showing my extraordinary skills to intimidate others while my discouraged inner child watches me from the corner in disguise, waiting for the fear to burst any time soon because she knows I cannot handle people very well. Once she witnessed my suicidal thoughts, shaking my body non-stop and believed that I might just end things, she was right. I was thinking of ending things, but... My fears were bigger than my dramatic ego. Yep, that's the Empire State. So when I first came here, I expected something much, much more beautiful. But again, my reaction was like, OK, let's go. <laughs> I saw the sale and Foot Locker, so I'm here. Looking for something too cheap. 
No, not too cheap. Actually, so cheap. But I found this one. Look. I... This Converse here is... $30. How is it? Look, it's snowing. <laughs> and how on earth all these people found the umbrellas this quick? It just started. I started to feel like a real New Yorker because, you know, what's inside my pockets? Well, a lot of pennies, like a lot. In each pocket, I have like, I don't know, 15 or 20 pennies. In every coat I have, I have a lot of, a lot of pennies. And I, I, I forgot, I forget that they are in my pocket. <laughs> from Starbucks but today I made a mistake and I bought an iced coffee. I said my name was Beza and they wrote Bab. Like Bab. Is is this is this even a real name? Bab. <laughs> school I'm, I need to bring back my book to the public li library so let's go to New York Public Library together it's going to be difficult to ride the bike with a skirt but I'm gonna try my best let's go
starting again, but stress was keeping me behind. So first, from the art market, art market, I bought this lovely tote bag. It was eight dollars, and it has two pockets and everything. It's really big, and I bought this lovely sketchbook. It's it's beautiful. It was eleven dollars. I am so happy that I'm going to start painting again. And I bought this fabric fabric marker for this tote bag because I have international friends here. So I'm going to make them sign and write something in their own languages. So, you know, to make this tote bag look much better and more like me. That was it. And I will I will start drawing tonight because I know I'm not good at drawing like really sharp lines but um, I will start you know practicing more and more almost every day so I can get better I watched him I watched a YouTube video about a man and his magic pencil it inspired me so I'm gonna do it <laughs> Pictures. Ooh! Wow. Big fan. Okay. 
Okay.